Welcome today. Hello there and welcome to our Wednesday Lunch and Learn. This is Martha Cooper Hudson, the CEO and founder of Rediscover Her. And I am super excited to be here on this wonderful Wednesday to come to you just for a brief moment during your lunch break. Again, my name is Martha Cooper Hudson. I am the CEO of Rediscover Her and Chasing Purpose Leadership Academy. If you are not a part of our circle, I I need you to go now over to rediscoverhergroup.com and make sure you are you are a part of our group. And I also need you to go over to chasingpurpose.org and make sure you're a part of our mailing list. So today I wanted to talk to you about the heart of a champion and truly building a heart of a champion that is going to allow you to persevere through every difficult moment that may come your way as you're up-leveling your life, up-leveling your business, and up-leveling your surroundings. And the one thing that I know more than anything else that will allow you to build that heart of a champion are six key components that I live by each and every day. See, physical training is good for the body. Physical training is always good for the body, but training for godliness is much better. It's a promise and you have more promising benefits in life. And in that life, you live a life of true happiness. Guys, I had to realize and recognize that I could not go to the next level without having a true heart of a spiritual champion because of the different things that was actually going to come our way. Those things that was going to come your way once you made a decision, once you made a decision to actually wake up your dreams, accomplish your goals, and walk in your God-given purpose. And so with that, I wanted to make sure that you had six components that would allow you to, to gain that heart of a champion, to gain that faith of a champion, that you need and to make sure that you are doing what you need to do each and every day to strengthen those muscles. So the first thing that you must do, and I hope that you have a pen and a piece of paper so that you can take copious notes. The first thing you must do is build that spiritual muscle. That's right. The very first thing that you must do is build your spiritual muscle. If you've ever worked out, if you've ever gone to the gym for any reason or another, you know that building muscle takes time, that it doesn't happen overnight, that it's not quick and easy, but that it actually happens over time. And you must build up to that moment. First, you must start with light weights, and then you gradually work your way up to the heavier weights. Well, the same is true when we start to build that spiritual muscle. And to do this, we must at least spend a few moments each and every day reading the word, speaking the word, and sharing the word with others. When you do that, that continues to build that spiritual muscle that you will need as you elevate your business, you elevate your mindset, you elevate your life, and you elevate your surroundings because so many things will come from the left and the right towards you that you must make sure that you have that spiritual muscle that you need to carry you through some of those difficult times that will come, but how you handle them will be the difference. And then you must learn, number two, you must learn to use the proper techniques. You must learn to use the proper techniques as you're building that spiritual muscle and you're building that heart of a champion. See, Olympians, they particularly, they learn how to perfect the technique that's going to get them the greatest results. That is the same thing with you. You must learn how to perfect uh perfect your technique as you're building the heart of a champion, as you're building that spiritual muscle, you must practice, practice, practice. And when you practice the basics of faith over and over again, guess what happens? It builds your muscle. It gives you a stronger background. It gives you greater faith techniques that you could actually use 
as you go through those difficult times and you can start off with small things, you know, you know, uh, praying and, and thanking God for healing you from your cold, from answering your prayers, from paying your, your bills, your small bills. You start building that faith that builds that muscle that allows you to be able to practice, 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 and gain the proper technique that you need in order to get it done. And then number three, determined to go pro. Determined to go pro. You are called to go pro with your faith. And you are called to go pro in everything that he has given you on the inside to be at a level that most people only wish, hope, and pray, and they never achieve. Because with an athlete, when they train, when you look at some of the greatest athletes on this planet, LeBron James, Michael Jordan, um, when you look at Khalil Mack, when you look at some of the greatest athletes on this planet, they train at a level that most people would never consider training. Why? Because it takes too much time. It takes too much effort. It takes too much energy. And most people are not willing to give that. But when you decide that you're going to go pro and you're going to go pro in your faith so that your business can go to the next level, so that your life can go to the next level, so that your surroundings can go to the next level, you must do what most people won't do in order to have the things that most people cannot have. And that is what pro athletes have actually done. And that is what you're going to do as you go pro with your faith each and every day that will keep you grounded, that will keep you focused on where it is that you need to go. Without faith, you can do nothing. Without faith and your works, nothing will ever be accomplished. So you must make sure that you are building the muscle that you need in order to go to the next level. And then number four, you must maintain focus. So many times we get off focus. We are distracted by life and things that's happening around us. But you must maintain your focus. I always tell my clients to put on those guards like a horse. I don't know what they call them. I just call them blinders in which they cannot see to the left or to the right of you and that they are staying focused in the lane that they are in and that they are making sure that they are paying attention to what it is that they are doing. Have you ever driven looking in the rearview mirror Absolutely not, because you will crash, right? Because your focus should be on where it is that you are going. That is the same thing within life. That is the same thing in building that spiritual muscle so that you can build a heart of a champion. You must stay focused on where it is that you are going. And then number five, follow the master instructor. I'll say that again. Follow the master instructor. So where should your face be? It should be on your heavenly father that's directing you, that's giving you the direction you need to go in order for you to become successful in every area of your life. So you must follow the master instructions. Don't try to do it on your own. Listen to him. Seek his wisdom and his knowledge. Uh, ask questions so that you can go in the direction in which you need to go to achieve your greatest level of success. And that's in every area of your life. Trust me, I know I've tried to do it Martha's way. And every time I do it my way without him, I jack it up. I had a shirt on yesterday that said, God is my CEO. And that is who I operate under and with. We tag team this life called success together as I continue to walk this planet and share what it is that I need to share with everyone who's paying attention, everyone who's listening, and everyone who's doing what they need to do in order to get it done. And the very last thing I want to share with you on this day as you build a heart of a champion is don't quit. A champion never quits. A champion will endure to the end 
even if they do not win the race that everyone thought they would. They will continue to push through the difficult times, the delays, the distractions, and all of the other things that will come your way that will, in, that will try to hinder and hold your future hostage. What you do not do is quit. Quitting is not an option. And so with that, you must push through it. You must be fit for God's calling on your life. So you have to continue to work that muscle, build that faith, stay in focus, listening to the master instructor and being prepared for the journey that he's placing you on in order for you to get to where it is that you want to go. So you have to be relentless in your determination to make these things happen for you. No one can do it for you, but you can do it for yourself with the help of God. All things are possible through, through Christ who strengthens me. So I challenge you to build your muscle so that you can build a heart of a champion that would allow that would allow you to endure until the end. Guys, it has been a pleasure to be here with you today for this uh, for yet again another edition of Lunch and Learn. Make sure you're following me on all of my social media platforms under Martha Cooper Hudson. And ladies, if you're not a part of my Rediscover Her group, Make sure you go over to rediscoverhergroup.com and become a part of the group. And make sure you're on my mailing list at rediscoverher.com or chasingpurpose.org. Chasing Guys, it has been a pleasure. It has been a pleasure to be with you today. I will see you again Monday night for yet again another awesome and phenomenal entrepreneur on our Bossed Up series. And I'll see you back here again next Wednesday for yet another segment of Lunch and Learn. This has been Martha Cooper Hudson, and the pleasure has truly been all mine. So you all have an amazing and phenomenal day. Bye-bye.